His name was Willem. He arrived in Philadelphia in 1914 from a small town near Norwich, England. And it is from him that the breed now known as the Norwich Terrier developed in America. The Norwich Terrier and his cousin, the Norfolk Terrier, are among the smallest of the terrier breeds. But make no mistake, these are by no means toys. Rugged, hardy, alert, and fearless, these energetic dogs are capable of furious activity in the field as ratting companions and are sometimes used to go to ground or boat a fox. The differences between the Norwich and Norfolk are slight, so much so that they were not recognized as separate breeds in the United States until 1979. Consequently, there will be occasional references to the Norfolk Terrier throughout this presentation. You'll be seeing many examples of the Norwich Terrier. Some are outstanding examples of the breed, others are less so. But all will help your understanding of the breed. Now let's begin. In general appearance, the standard calls for a sturdy, spirited, and stocky little dog with prick ears and a somewhat foxy expression. He has good bone and substance with a wiry, virtually weatherproof coat. Because he's a working dog, honorable scars from fair wear and tear are acceptable. The Norwich is an ideal companion dog too, adaptable and sporting. He should not be weedy, leggy, or toyish. 